Today I'm going to show you how you can try to save a car that's been flooded out. Now the first rule is, don't try to start it. You want to see if the engine transmission got water in it first. So check the oil dipstick. Now in this case it's clean and it's right to the full line. If it had been way over the full line, that means water got inside and displaced the oil. Because if there is water in the engine, if you start it, it mixes it up and destroys stuff. But if you don't, you just drain it all out and change the oil and filter, it can be okay then. And the same thing goes to the transmission fluid. Check the fluid to see if it's over full with water inside. If it is water, you can drain it before you start the car, put new fluid in, and it could be okay. And of course, check the air filter. And it's dripping and full of water. You know water got in the engine, so then you need to do this. So in this case, you take out the spark plugs. You pull them all out of their holes, so then there's no pressure to be built up when you crank the engine. So now if there's any water, the engine will just suck it in and spit it out the spark plug tube holes, and you put the spark plugs in after the water's gone. Well, plenty of water came out. So now we'll put the spark plugs back in and see what happens. So if your car recently got flooded out, now you know what to do in the first place. And hurrah, the sun's coming out and saving Houston. More quick fixes on the Scotty Kilmer channel.